Hi everyone and welcome to Chemistry with Kat. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about stoichiometry and specifically how to balance chemical equations. Let's go! When a chemical reaction takes place we have the reactants and the products. What happens is the reactants get transformed and become the products. The French chemist Antoine Lavoisier put forth the law of conservation of mass in 1789. This law states that the total mass of the products has to equal the total mass of the reactants. So pretty much no mass can be lost. This can also translate to mean that all the atoms that are present before the reaction takes place have to equal the number of atoms present after the reaction takes place. So because of this law of conservation of mass, we know that the atoms of a certain element before the reaction have to be the same after. And that's what we mean by balancing the reaction. So the atoms of carbon have to be the same before the reaction takes place in the reactants and in the products. Same with hydrogen, oxygen, or any other element that might be found in the reaction. There are three main rules when balancing an equation. The first is that you can only balance an equation by changing the coefficient, the stoichiometry coefficient, which comes before the molecule. You can use fractioned coefficients, but whole numbers are preferred. Second is you can't add any products or reactants to balance your equation. It has to be only the reactants and then the products that actually occur in the reaction. And then third is that you cannot change the formula of any of the molecules. So that kind of goes with step number one. You can only balance by changing the stoichiometry coefficient which comes before the molecule, not the actual molecular formula. So for example, if I had water, H2O, and I wanted to balance the oxygen, I can't just start saying H2O2 because now I have a different molecule. Instead, I would have to do 2H2O and that's changing the stoichiometry coefficient. The example I'll do is a very simple one. Here we have propane C3H8 with oxygen going to carbon dioxide and water H2O. Now this is how we write chemical equations. We have the reactants here and then an arrow to show us the products that occur. So remember our rule number two, we can't add anything to this equation. All we can do is add a stoichiometry coefficient or a multiplier in front of these molecules. The general rule of thumb is to make sure you balance the carbon first, the hydrogen second, and then the oxygen. When I do more complicated balancing problems, I always make sure that whatever is on its own, in this case the oxygen is on its own, I do that one last because that's going to be the easiest to balance because I don't affect other molecules in the process. What we'll do to start is write out what elements are present and their quantity. So right now we have carbon at three, hydrogen at eight, and oxygen at two. Now in the products we have carbon at one, hydrogen at two, and oxygen at three. So let's start with the carbon. We have three here and one there. So what we'll do is put a three over here. So now we have three carbon. So our carbons are checked, but now that changed our oxygen. Now we have three times two is six plus one over here. So now we have seven oxygen. We'll just leave that for now because remember we're gonna go in order of carbon, hydrogen, then oxygen. So let's do the hydrogens. We have eight hydrogen over here and only two over here. So to get this number to eight, we're gonna to wanna to multiply it by four. So let's put a four in front of here. And then now we have two times four is eight. But then this also changed the oxygen. So now we have the three times two is six plus four times one, so four. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So instead of seven, we have 10. 
So now we have the carbon lining up, hydrogen lines up, and now oxygen is left. We have 10 oxygen in the products and we only have two here. So to get two to 10, we'll multiply it by five. And now we have 10 and everything lines up. So we could say that we have one mole of propane reacting with five moles of oxygen, and that creates three moles of carbon dioxide and four moles of water. Remember that rule number three where we can't change the molecular formula. In no time during the balancing did we change propane, O2, carbon dioxide, or H2O water. Those can never, ever change. I should let you know that oftentimes in university, you're not going to be asked to balance an equation for homework, maybe in the lab, but usually they'll give you the balanced equation and then ask you some more complicated problems. For homework today, I would like you to try to balance this equation. Here we have potassium reacting with water, creating potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Remember to do whatever is on its own last. So in this case, I would say potassium for last. But do what you want and I'm sure you'll find the right answer. If you wanna check your work, I will put the solution on my Instagram at chemwithcat and you can check to see if you're right. Go follow me there and the answer will be up right when this video airs. If you enjoyed this lesson, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to comment any questions or what you wanna see next. I'm here every day at 9 a.m. and I will see you tomorrow.